Okay, well my scene is coming together a little bit, but I do need a few more windows and I need to add some textures uh, to the wall and perhaps the tables as well, even the floor. So let's do that. Um, as you noticed last time, I have the cutout, which is a negative for the window to be installed. And my window is actually a separate cutout. There it is. So I can duplicate that window and kind of bring it out for now for the, to the side. That's going to be another window. But remember, I need to create another cutout for a window over here. So I'm going to ungroup my wall cutout. There it is. It's negative. So I'm going to control plus so you can see it a little bit better. And I'm going to duplicate just that cutout. And then I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to reposition the cut, the duplicate over here somewhere. They're going to be in the same spot or the same place horizontally. Then I'm going to control duplicate again, pull that out. And and then I'm going to make sure that I select the wall and the cutouts. So I've got to make sure that I've got all the cutouts selected. So I'm just going to control and then I need the, to make sure that this last cutout is also included. So the wall and the cutouts only, not the window. I'm going to group that and I'm going to install my window over here. So I'm just going to click and drag that into position and then duplicate that. I like toggling between views just to make sure that it's in the right spot. I'm going to move that over, reposition it into the spot. And now you can see that I have more windows, which adds a lot more to the scene. All right, so let me stop the render. I'm going to go ahead and select the wall, and I can add a material to that, so just a color. And I can go over here to metals even. Add maybe a nice green. Just adding some nice textures and colors to that. And perhaps going to the wall, which the, the actual ground plane is just this, this square right here. This is an infinite ground plane. So it's going to come across and it'll add to that as well. So I can change the material to that and maybe in this I don't want anything shiny let me go to miscellaneous classic checkerboard I could do that let's see it's gonna be a little too big and busy but yeah oh no nope that's a wrong choice. So you got to be careful with too busy. Um, you don't want maybe even just a nice brown tone to that will be fine. Yes, looks a lot better. I mean, I could be here all day with the materials. There's so many to choose from. Um, it's getting closer. Um, what I'd like you to do is kind of try to mimic this if you'd like, but again, try to be creative, uh, create your own, uh, make sure that things are lining up, like my lights right here are not lining up, and um, try to change your camera view a little bit. So I can actually like rotate my camera a little bit, bring my scene down so that I can see more of the top of the tables. So I'm looking uh, up, make this a little bit wider but now I can see a little bit more I can zoom in uh, to a certain area here um, I also need to turn my sky on now when you when you turn your sky on um, you're going to see a big difference in the way that the interior looks so it's going to dim it out a little bit you can see that I used realism achieved and now you can see that it looks like it's nighttime. The lights are a little bit more realistic. The indoor lighting, as you can see, has changed quite a bit. So play around with the different uh, 
uh, skies. It is going to, because of the ambient lighting and everything kind of bouncing off of each other, it's going to add a different effect. Um, again, try to create uh, maybe some vases, uh, maybe some bowls, whatever you'd like to your scene. And it doesn't have to be a cafe, um, but I would like you to create a window uh, or interior of some sort maybe even mimic your room uh, maybe a bed whatever you'd like so again for this assignment uh, just create an interior of your choice for our final and I'm gonna say this uh, for our final we're going to be building an exterior of a home um, and and so I'll be uploading some videos on how to do that but the principles are the same using the negative and the positive bullions you're going to be building a nice scene like this so let me know if you have any questions and have fun creating thanks